Hi, I'm Carla Alexander, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, make this little table runner called Vertigo. Now, Vertigo is right here underneath me, and you can see that it looks like there's a, a match in these kaleidoscope blocks. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I have some fabric samples here. One thing that makes it really simple if you actually want to get that kind of kaleidoscope loop, look is to use one of these uh, little mirrors that open up and will show you the repeat of a fabric. So I bought a couple fabrics here to show you and and so what I like to do is I like to take my ruler and this is a, for a five and a half inch uh, block so the strip would be, or a five and a half inch strip, so you put the strip uh, the measurement on the ruler right here and you can take the mirror and close it in around the kaleidoscope or the mirror and then you can see the repeat and if you had someone who like wanted to do an exact uh, repeat every time then if they cut that square out of uh, they, they could cut a square of fabric out like this across the repeat every time and you can see how that repeats and then they would get the exact same piece every time to make that kaleidoscope and then what would happen automatically also is if you flipped it the other way because the excess that's going to end up over here let's see if I can turn that around for you would be the secondary one So I'm going to show you um, a couple of different fabrics that that will work with. It also does work with large scale uh, prints. Uh, it just depends on if you want that uh, kaleidoscope ring to show up or not, or just have a fun print. And here is another print. And uh, once again, you can use it in a variety of ways. I'm going to set this right here. And there you can show your customers if they wanted to capture that little kind of cross right there. They would move across the fabric width and they would cut in the same space every time. And you could pre-mark that. You could mark the tip of it, like the tip of this diamond every time when you come to that repeat. Um, there's a number of different ways to get there so they could do whatever works um, best for them. I always have a lot of fun with this fabric because, or fabrics like these, because you can turn them, if you have, you know, enough of it, you can turn it um, either way. And here's another example. If I were to put that tip right here on this diamond, and then you can see that um, I would get that shape, and there's plenty of those going across, and I could just continue to cut and fussy cut going this way as well, and then I would get that kaleidoscope look. Now another uh, fabric that I love to use, I want to do this, is one of these prints right here, and it's kind of an unusual stripe. and makes using the mirror a lot of fun. When you uh, fussy cut like that, it takes a little bit more fabric sometimes if the repeat is small. What I like to do is I like to take a piece of tape and just kind of put it right here so I don't open the uh, mirror too wide. And now I can move uh, the ruler away and, and I can see what kind of pattern I'll get depending on where I uh, put the ruler. So I'm never opening uh, the ruler too wide to get the different colors. Okay, so you can see all the fun designs that you can get. And um, I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you the exact fabric I used with this because I wasn't really even being very careful. But you can see when you have a small repeat like that, um, how well that's going to work. And so I just took the mirror and I just, or I mean the ruler, and I just cut and then I would flip it 180 and cut and cut again. And that just kind of happened um, with that table runner. So that all those little pieces look like a kaleidoscope. So it's a lot of fun to use the ruler, uh, use the mirror to find your uh, design or your repeat. And um, it gives you something to show them to try other fabrics with. And it's exciting just to see the different uh, designs that you'll get. And you can put them together in a kaleidoscope. And you could cut a larger strip if you wanted because the, uh, the strip width you can use is up to 10 inches. 
and so you have a lot of variability, variability with this, and once again, the um, mirror goes great with it, so enjoy.